In this example of an indirect search, we start off with a topic like dress code and students. And I'm in the database EBSCO, the host, Academic Search Complete specifically. And we have a number of results, 461 is a good number. And we see that the first few are about dress codes and students, but in this case, it's about lecturer dress codes. Not the students, but the lecturers uh, themselves or the teachers. We do have some religious and cultural dress at school, comparative perspective, so we have some decent results. But as we scroll through, we may want to realize that some of the results are not necessarily about uh, our argumentative topic. They may not be giving us the support we need to actually build our argument. So in the case of this uh, result speaking up for themselves, what I see is a new perspective, a new way of addressing this particular topic that is uh, not a direct way of, of addressing it, but more of an indirect. So this I see things like students in the United States and freedom of expression. There's also a reference to the First Amendment of the Constitution. By considering the core elements of our argument, things like freedom of expression, student rights, we may be able to take a new approach, a more indirect approach to our research. So instead of searching for dress codes in students, dress codes are merely just one example of student rights or ways that uh, students have a, a freedom of speech or freedom of expression. There are other ways to express, um, I suppose I should make that correct, freedom of expression. Um, there are other ways to uh, make their expression uh, known or have their freedom of expression known. Uh, dress code is just one of them. You'll notice that when we do a more refined uh, search for just freedom of expression in students, we still have a large number of results, 395, and we still have this article that we originally found speaking up for themselves about freedom of expression. But what we also see are things about student rights in general. So this is uh, freedom, student rights in the age of austerity or freedom of expression within the schoolhouse gate, school uniforms and dress codes, codes the pros and cons. Now what we have, are we, we're still getting things about dress codes because that is a, an essential way, uh, an essential example of how students express themselves within uh, school. But we're also going to get at core issues related to freedom, uh, constitutional rights, and things that we may not have picked up simply by searching for dress codes. This is more of an indirect method of doing our research. The core uh, topics that we're looking for will need to be applied by us to our topic. So we're making the argument, not simply for or against dress codes, but we're really making an argument for or against freedom of expression in students. So that is just one approach to uh, doing some research in a more indirect method. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the librarians. We're more than happy to help. Take care.